In this video, I'm going to show you how you can blend images in Canva. So in this example, I've blended this image here with this image here, and that has created this blend effect. Now you can blend any images together. You can blend it so the images appear dark or bright, and I'm gonna show you how you can do all of that in this video. I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks on how to achieve the best blend, so let's jump into it. So first what you need to do is open up a blank document and find two images you want to blend together. For the sake of the video, I'll use different images so we can get a new effect. So I'm gonna blend this picture of the beach. So I'm gonna import this image, and this can be your own image or Canva uploaded image, but I will blend this image with this image here. So we'll see what kind of effect we can achieve with blending these two images. So the first thing you wanna do is import your first image onto a page and then go to another page and import your second image. And obviously make sure that they're the same size and the dimensions are the same. Now, frankly, we're going to be blending two beach photos and it might look a bit odd, but nonetheless, I'll show you how you can do it. So what you first need to do is go ahead and go to elements and search for gradient. Once you've searched for gradients, go to photos and you wanna find now a gradient that you can use. You can find it maybe in photos or you can also find it in graphics and you're looking for kind of like a gradient that matches the lighting in your image. So black to white is good for darker images, but like a white to gray is gonna be better for lighter images. So I'm gonna go with this one here, which fades black to white. Now, once you've got this on your image, you now wanna decide what part of the image do you want to show? So if you want the left to show, so in this case, I want the mountain blending into the right of the other image, you want to add the gradient to the opposite end. So go ahead and resize your gradient so you've got the dark end fading into the light end here. Now this dark end where we're adding our gradient, this is where the other image is gonna show. So I've added my gradient. What I'm gonna do now is right click on it, copy it, and I'm then going to paste it again, just so it becomes more dark. Now what's gonna happen is this dark area here is where we're going to fade in the other image. So once you've added your gradient, you wanna go ahead and just highlight all of them. So go ahead and just highlight these gradients, click copy, then head over to your other image and do the exact same but in reverse. So paste in these gradients, then you want to flip them and put them on the other end. So now you've got the dark end on image number one on the right and the dark end on image number two on the left. We can blend both of these together. So now go to the first image, click share, click download, and you wanna now download just page one. So just download page one, click download, and that should then download it. Now head over to page two, click share, click download, and select here page two only. So once you've done that, you can then open your downloads folder, and you wanna go ahead and import both of these into Canva. So drag these files into Canva, and they'll go into your upload section. So now they're uploading, we can delete any files that we've currently got on Canva, because we don't need these anymore. And what you can do, you can drag the first image on and we'll resize it. You're just gonna have to ignore the quality. I used an image which wasn't great quality. But nonetheless, now we'll drag the second image on. Now what you can do is you can click on the secondary image. You can go to transparency and bring the transparency down to about 30%. And you can see the two images are fading together. Now ignore the quality when you export. Just make sure that you're exporting in a good file type and it's high quality. But you can see now how we've got the swing of the first image blending in to the mounting and the beach of the second image. So that's basically how you do it and it's the only way to do it on Canva. I hope that did help you out. 